Hey folks, Dr. Mike Isertel here for Renaissance Periodization, Hypertrophy Made Simple, video number 11. Check out the rest of the series already been posted. If you want more details, the Hypertrophy Guide Central Hub on our website is a really good resource. And in addition to that, all the other YouTube videos we have on this channel, much more long form, much more in depth. Here's the deal. How should you be planning training phases? A little bit more advanced. This is a real first hint of periodization that we're gonna talk about. First, let's define some terms. You want to make each week harder, and if you want to know how to do that for progression, check out video number nine in this series. That's called the accumulation phase, a phase of training that makes stuff harder and harder and harder. Then, from video number 10, we learned how to deload. At the end of each accumulation phase, there's the deload phase. The entire accumulation plus deload is called a mesocycle of training. It's like four to eight weeks long on average. Here's the new term for periodization is a block of training is usually about three of those mesocycles stuck one after another after another, okay? So it's a progression of three mesocycles in a row. How should we structure that? Well, here's the deal. In the beginning of each training block, like the first mesocycle, for example, you probably want to bias more of your training in the heavy range, lots of sets of five to 10 reps, not as many in the 10 to 20 or 20 to 30 range. You also want to do lower frequency per muscle group and overall maybe two or three sessions per muscle group per week, not four or five or six like you can do probably later. With each successive meso through a block from meso one to two and two to three, you probably want to consider adding sessions, all right? Something like one session at most per mesocycle. So for example, you did biceps twice a week in the first meso, then three times per week in the second and four times per week in the third is a really, really good idea. Don't go up any faster than that because you'll burn yourself out. In addition, when you add these sessions, you probably want to add higher rep ranges. So if you started with biceps being two sessions of both five to 10 reps relatively heavy in the first mesocycle, when you add another session, it should probably be in the 10 to 20 rep range. And you add another session later for that third mesocycle, it should probably be in the 20 to 30 rep range. You don't want to add heavy work. That's going to get a little crazy and it's going to beat you up like wild. For the exercises that you add, every single time you add a session, you should probably be adding a session by new exercises. So if you're doing barbell curls uh, and then dumbbell curls, and then you add a new exercise, you should probably be like cable curls or machine curls. You can double up on exercises, but it's probably good to use fresh exercises. And those should be concordant to the rep range. So if you add an exercise in the 20 to 30 rep range, something like cable curls is super awesome because it works really well in that rep range. You don't want to add something that doesn't make sense. If you're adding a quad exercise, you don't add barbell squats in the 20 to 30 rep range because that won't be limited by your quads from one of our earlier videos. You can look into that. So make sure you're adding intelligent exercises that fit those higher rep ranges every single time. Now, here's the deal. After a whole block of increasing frequency and adding tons of volume, essentially, and adding new exercises, you are going to be toast. There's no way you're going to do a fourth or fifth mesocycle of progression. It's just not going to happen. Your muscles need a break, your whole body needs a break, and your mind needs a break to heal and resensitize and begin that process over again. You have two options here for phases. Option one is a low volume maintenance phase. This is roughly three to four weeks long. You do only sets of five to 10 reps, very low repetitions, only train each muscle at most twice a week, one to two times a week, in fact, works really well. And you do one third of the total weekly set. So for example, if you were doing 15 sets on average, in mesocycle two of the progression, the middle one, okay, 15 sets of, uh, of chest a week, in your low volume maintenance phase, you're only going to do five sets of chest. You think, oh my God, I'll never grow like that. The point isn't to grow. It's to maintain muscle, which is very easy while you recover. So very, very little training, very low volume. At the end, you take a deload just like normal, and then you start another block of progression going up and up. The alternative is to take an active rest phase. It's shorter, only two or three weeks, and it's almost no lifting. You can go in the gym and mess around a little bit, but really what you want to do is just have a lot of fun be active, not too active, relax a lot, sleep a lot, eat plenty, and just enjoy your life. Take all of that gym craziness out of your system. And maybe you do two sessions in the gym, literally sessions, not per muscle group, maximum less than 50% of normal weight and reps and sets, 10 reps in reserve on each set. Like you're barely even trying. You're going around just to mess around. After that's over, you begin another incrementally more difficult and more difficult and more difficult block of roughly three mesos of training. Folks, that's it for this time. See you for the next video.